A month before moving out, you should cancel things like internet. These things usually take 30 days notice to cancel and you don't want to end up paying for something that you can't use. Discuss with your housemates when everyone is moving out so that you can organise to clean communal areas. Don't be left at the house Cinderella. If you have damaged anything in the property, it might be worth getting it fixed before you move out. It may be cheaper than what your landlord will charge you. A week before moving out, you should. Don those rubber gloves and get cleaning. Here's our how clean is your house, get in your bomb back bonanza. The oven may be one of the most intimidating jobs, but it doesn't have to leave you with numb arms. Get some oven cleaner and leave it on the door and shelves overnight, making sure that you leave the oven door open if you don't want it to explode. Give it a good scrub the next day, making sure to rinse it with water afterwards. The fridge and freezer. Turn the power down earlier in the week to try and combat the iceberg that may be lurking at the back. Make sure the fridge is empty, then turn it off the night before cleaning. Remember to leave the doors open and leave a towel down to soak up the melting ice. Start cleaning by taking the shelves and drawers out and leaving these to soak. Then scrub the inside of the fridge and freezer with disinfectant. Leave the doors open when you're finished. The microwave. Take out the plate and clean it, then get scrubbing on the inside. The cupboards. Wipe the grease and fingerprints from cupboard doors as well as doing the inside of the cupboard itself. The bathroom. The toilet. First of all, put bleach down and give the toilet itself a good scrub. Spray the toilet from top to bottom, making sure to clean underneath the lid. Once you're done, flush and leave another layer of bleach. The shower should be cleaned when no one else is going to use it. If you've got black buildup, get some mould and mildew spray. Give everything a good scrub, including the taps and the shower head. If you have a shower curtain, demould it or replace it as these are relatively cheap. Everyone should be responsible for cleaning their own rooms. Remember to clean and hoover your mattress and underneath all of your furniture. You'd be surprised what you might find. It's easy to forget about your sofa, but it's been host to sleepovers, movie nights, and takeaway over the year. And now it's time to give it some TLC. Remove the cushions and get hoovering. If you can, take off cushion covers and put them in the wash. If it's a leather sofa like mine, use a damp cloth and a little soap to give it a good clean. In every single room of the house, you will need to hoover and mop the floors or use a stain remover for carpets. Decobweb. Clean the skirting boards. Take out all bin bags and make sure you don't forget any possessions. <laughs>